In this video, you will learn how to find your emails, write and send an email, and send an email containing a link to a website. How to use Gmail's email provider. Find the Gmail icon and tap it. If you have not installed the applications, please watch our video about applications. When opening your Gmail application, your inbox will appear. This is where you find your emails. Your inbox display will change depending on the position of your tablet. In the vertical position, you will see your messages. And when you tap a message, it will appear in full screen. In the horizontal position, you will find your inbox on the left and the content of your selected message on the right. Unread messages will appear in bold letters, whereas read messages appear in normal letters. You will find the name of the person who sent the message here. Tap the email message to open and read it. Tap the inbox to return to all your emails. To delete a message, press and hold your finger on the message you wish to delete. In the top right corner, you will find blue buttons, one of which is the garbage icon. Remove your finger and press the garbage icon. To write an email, tap Compose button with a plus sign or the button with the pencil sign, depending on your Gmail version. Add the recipient's email address, the person you wish to write to, in the recipient's address bar, too. You must tap the address bar, too, to activate your keyboard. Remember to carefully type in the email address. If you forget one letter, the email will fail to reach the recipient. Another important point, email addresses never contain spaces. When the address is correct and recognized, it will appear in your saved email addresses. Add a subject to your email. Tap the subject bar and insert your title. To write a message, tap Compose Email and begin typing your message. The touch screen appears when you press on a place where it is possible to write something. For capital letters, find the key with upward pointing arrow. Press on this key once more to deactivate. For special characters such as the exclamation mark and the question mark, tap here. When you've finished writing your message, press on the blue arrow pointing to the right at the top right corner to send your message. While writing your email, the message is saved automatically. If for some reason you are interrupted while writing your email, you can find your saved message in drafts and continue where you left off. Tap the three horizontal lines on the top left corner and tap drafts. You will find all your unfinished emails. To see if your message has been sent, tap the icon with three horizontal lines right beside the search bar in your emails. Now, tap sent. Here, you will find all your previously sent emails. Sending an email with a website link or a link towards an article is very common. You can share a website with someone through an email. First, you must access Google Chrome. If you have not installed this application, please watch our video on applications. Now, find the Google Chrome icon. Sometimes, this can be found in a group of icons named Google. You can either start a search or enter the entire address of a website. 
If you are doing a search, find the link to the desired website and tap it. After this, tap the search bar. Beside the address of the website you wish to share, you will find three connected dots. Tap the three dots. Now press on the Gmail icon. From here on, proceed in the same way as you would when writing an email. You will notice that when you type the email address of your recipient, previously saved addresses will appear. You can choose these addresses directly. Press on the blue arrow at the top right corner to send your email that contains a link to a website. 